Hi, we're here with the 2021 Chevy Trailblazer all-wheel drive and active trim. And we're also here with Riley, our 12-year-old helper. Hi, Riley. Riley's 12 years old. He's 58 inches tall, which puts him right at the average for his uh, his age. And uh, he's going to help show us and demonstrate the back seat area for us, which is where kids his age would normally ride. So, Riley, why don't you hop into the car on the other side, and I'll uh, take a look through the window here. Seemed like it was about the right height to get in. Not too tall, not too short, mm -hmm. just uh, easy enough. Yeah. How are you? Uh, how how comfortable is that seat? Uh, the seat is pretty comfortable, and on a long car trip, it wouldn't be anything bad. Yeah. Looks like you're putting the seatbelt on. Good. Safety yeah. first. Does it? Safe. How's the safety? How's the seatbelt fit? Is it nice and snug, or um, is it loose, it's, or? It's snug. It's, if you pull it tight, it's good. It doesn't rub. Um, okay. Is, so it's at the right height. Yeah, it's at the right height, but um, it's not adjustable. So if you were like taller or shorter, you're just stuck with this. Okay. How about uh, leg room? I think this front seat should be adjusted for me. I'm six foot one with a 32 inch inseam. So it looks like there's a lot of leg room back there for you and probably even for a taller person. Does that sound right? How about like uh, amenities? Let's see if you like your right arm, looks like you have an armrest over there. Uh -huh. yeah. That's good. And then how about your left? Do you? Um, ah. Well, there's just a fold down armrest that also has two cup holders. Oh, that's not bad. It, so. Are there other cup holders? Um. Well, kind of bottle holders slash just general bins and both okay. doors gotcha and what if like you had a book or something or you were drawing could you, do you have a place to stash those um yeah there are two map pockets on each of the seats okay oh so one on each seat mm -hmm. so two total that's not bad a lot of cars don't have those anymore um that's good and then what about uh, other stuff like comfort items are there seat heaters or um, in the back there's no seat heaters no seat coolers okay um how about like vents? Do you um, have vents? Yeah, very kind of weird about this car, I'd say. Is there are no vents in the back? Oh, okay. So it's just kind of you're kind of relying on mm -hmm. the front people to adjust their yeah. vents so you get some kind of ventilation. Oh, and also um, the map pockets are special. This one yeah? on the driver's seat is lower than the passenger seat one. Huh. And the passenger seat one also has this plastic thing. So that I'm assuming if you flip the seat down, you can rest your feet on it. Interesting. Yeah, that seat does actually fold all the way flat. Mm -hmm. So you could probably put your feet up like you're in a limousine or something. Or maybe for transferring longer items, you know, mm -hmm. fold the back seats down, fold that front seat down. And then uh, you can just take a long load. Mm -hmm. What do you... Um, what else do you think? Let's see. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you're a kid, so you obviously have electronic devices like a lot of them, like to plug your phone in, your iPad or yeah. a movie player or something for a long trip. What, are there plugs back here? Stuff like that? Uh, yeah, there's one just standard uh, three-prong house outlet. Oh, that's kind of nice. You don't see that all the time, do you? No. And then there's a USB and a USB Type-C that you can use for charging. Mm, okay. Well, that's... So, three... So, like, one one of each kind really mm -hmm. so if you needed more though i guess you could plug in and use a long cable from the front oh yeah there there's more charging up front too okay well that yeah, sounds a long cord. great is there anything else about the inside here that you can think of that um, overall it seems pretty good for someone like yourself yeah it's good. It's, yeah Right on. Now, what if, like, uh, let's say your mom wanted you to get something out of the um, cargo area if you were outside of the car. Could you actually uh, be able to open and close the back hatch? Let's see. Okay. I don't think it's power, but I think it just has a little it's release not button. It's powered, but, like, soon the hydraulics kick in or something. Okay, and it just lifts it up, and then it looks and like there's, you can, what you need. yeah, and then can you, that's pretty high up there. And then you have to go on your tippy toes okay. to get it down. Oh, okay, but it closes pretty easily, so uh, not bad. So let's assume a few years from now, Riley, you're 12 now, so you'll be 16, have your license in a few years. Is this uh, the kind of car that you might be interested in having handed down to you? Would you be willing to drive this to school? Or, you know, what do you think? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have this car because the front seems pretty good, and I know that I find my friends, a lot of them, just if they ride in the back, I know they'll be comfortable too. Perfect. So, Great. Well, all right. Well, thank you very much, Riley. I appreciate you helping us out today. Okay. Bye-bye.